when I do that, I'm going to talk about that system just a little bit more. Coming to land, look at that. Flaring, 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 flaring. Oh! That's sex on a stick right there. That's beautiful. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Stuart Warren RC. I am Stuart Warren. I've got my good friend Tom Cole behind the camera. Hello. And it is particularly cool today, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's uh, freezing. Yeah, it's uh, it's January now and uh, it's a typically dull day, but it's quite calm. Um, but we don't mind the dullness because these colours on this, the first review model, this is the FMS V2 Beaver, two meter beaver, nice big beaver. Um, this is the first review for this channel. Now one thing to note, uh, this is a review but there will not be a unboxing. Uh, I'm probably not going to do unboxing on my channel, there are many other great channels out there doing unboxing videos. Uh, the uh, Pratinsky brothers, Katrin uh, Blage and Pilot Robert for example, they've got already got a very good unboxing of the uh, V2 Beaver on their channel. I'll have a link to that underneath uh, this video too. Um, but the model itself, it's a two meter span, it's designed for 6S, uh, around 5000 milliamp hour pack and this is the V2. If you remember the V1, probably came out about a year or so ago, it was black and white and it did not have these features that the V2 now has. The V2, we've got some cutaway shot earlier at uh, another location. Uh, the V2 has now clear canopy and cockpit throughout which is really really nice. It's got some nice detailed uh, cockpit interiors which we've got some shots of now. Um, and it's in this really bright, vibrant scheme. Not only that, there's been some improvements to the undercarriage. These wheels, Tom, can you see those wheels there? Yep. Lift that up a bit. These are really nice big wheels and they've got, uh, and they're ball race, ball bearings in there, so they run really, really smooth. Now this field here, it's another location, it's a club nearer to my, my house. We're not at our usual uh, location for videos. Um, but the grass is a bit rough here, but what that does, it shows uh, how well the beaver can uh, cope with the rough stuff because with those big wheels and this big span it really is a perfect model for these kinds uh, types of settings. Uh, Tom you can see the grass here. This is your first time here right? Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Before, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> it is a little bit rough but it's perfect for these types of models. Now this, I'll put that down there, this model itself uh, like I said is two meter. It does have LEDs. Tom I think you can probably see those Yeah you see them great. You will see them in flight because it's a little bit darker today which is perfect for that. LEDs on the wings and on the tail. Um, it runs on a 5,000 milliamp hour 6S, however, it's got a lot of power on 6S, which, will, which you'll see in flight. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a 4S demonstration, because this is actually very good on 4S too. It goes together very, very easily. I've been very impressed with this FMS model. Just to give you a little bit of um, historical background on FMS and uh, industrial insight, I do say that on my reviews I want to differentiate myself from the other review channels out there. They're, uh, they're good channels out there but they're from a customer perspective. These are customers that have uh, only been on that end of the spectrum. With my industry experience I want to give a little bit more insight to my reviews and give you guys something unique. That being said, FMS, they've been around for a good number of years now and they've really, really come along. My first experience uh, with FMS was working with them when they helped make some of the earlier Durafly models um, that you probably all know and love. Um, they've since gone on to make uh, models for other people like E-Flight for example, you know they make a lot of the models for E-Flight, but this one is out under their own, uh, under their own um, branding if you like. This is the pure FMS Beaver and it goes together very very well. You've just got uh, one type of screw, an M3 screw that does everything on this. There's just two different lengths. You just bolt on the towel, uh, you screw on the wing and you put in your receiver. It's that simple. What this V2 also have, which I don't think you've seen a flight review of, is their reflex gyro. It's this little orange box uh, inside the fuselage here pre-mounted and all you simply do is plug in your receiver to the gyro and it's got two no three different modes first of all you've uh, i'll show you it in flight but um you've got the stabilized mode uh which essentially um it's i refer to it as the training mode what it does it will limit your angle of bank so it's a really good training aid and this model itself because of its size and because of how it flies actually would make a very very good trainer too and then the other mode is optimized optimized yes. optimized yes but i'll double check on that uh, essentially with that uh, mode on it gives you full movement of all control uh, surfaces but it just stabilizes it you won't really see it so much here because it's not so windy but with, when there is some wind and we've got some footage of that coming later you will see that it actually um, does uh, benefit it somewhat but that said with the gyro off it's still very very rock solid 
So what we're going to do now, we're going to take it off, we're going to take it through its routine, show you the aerobatics, show you the power of it, show you just how slow it flies, because it can uh, fly very, very slow. It is a pussycat and you will love it. Let's just quickly go around and look at the surfaces. Tell me if I put that there, can you still see it? So obviously, ailerons, elevator, rudder, these are, servos are on the tail here, nice and direct ball link, so it's nice uh, control authority. There's one servo for the center and those two elevators are joined, that's nice. But look at the hinging on the, on the flaps there. Slot, uh, slotted flaps, which is really, really nice. If I turn it over here, Tom, you're gonna see, see, there's no servos. Those hurt servos are hidden, really, really nice and clean design feature. And it's uh, on the ailerons as well, you can see that they're slotted. Um, right. It makes it a very efficient setup. Uh, you don't get as much throw as you would on the ailerons with a standard setup. It's still uh, a good enough uh, authority on their ailerons for some good sports flying. So Tom, I think I've waffled on enough now, right? Yeah, I think so Tom's too. always telling me I talk too oh. much. And, uh, <laughs> there you go, he's distracted already. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna stop the talking and we'll get on with the flight review. First of all on 6S, then we'll go on to 4S and that will wrap up the review. So let's get on with the flying. It's like a Reno racer. <laughs> Even the prop sound. Howling. Wow. Cool. Pull up. Okay, so we've got a uh, action camera on the tail there, so you've got another perspective. Uh, that just lets us mix it up a bit when it gets a bit far away, so you guys can always appreciate the model. A uh, nice size model actually, and one of the benefits of that is that you can put cameras like this on the towel and it doesn't really affect the CAG. One note on the CAG, with that battery, um, you will want a 6S or a, a 4S battery, and I'll come on to that later. You need a weight of approximately, approximately around 850 grams. Uh, if it's lighter than that, you will struggle to get the CAG. For the CAG, just uh, for your own reference, there's a panel line here molded in the plastic. Tom, can you see yeah, where my finger is there? Yeah, yeah. That's where the CAG is, so it's really nice and easy to remember. That being said, I did need to add around 40 grams of lead to the nose, and uh, we'll come on to that. Actually, I'll touch on that now very quickly, Tom. Um, there's the lead on the nose. Now, this is my only complaint about the model. This cow is uh, just vacuum formed from PVC. It is a little bit thin, and mine was cracked out the box, so I had to glue that together. That's really my only complaint, and that's only an issue when you tip it on its nose. You just gotta be mindful when you're transporting it, because it could crack. That's the only real negative of this model. Uh, oh, one other thing to mention. There is a tow release mechanism uh, mounting position here. It's not included, but it is an optional extra if you want to tow some gliders, and it's definitely got enough power for that. There are floats available too. We'll see if we can get a video of that a little later on. Right, right. Tom, you ready? <laughs> here we go. Okay, so, all good. I'm gonna take off with mid flaps and with gyro off. 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 And let's just see how it goes to start with. Ready? Ready. Taking off. Holding a bit of elevator, keep the rudder tight, and away she goes. Look at that climb out. That's full power climb out. Tom, you still got that? Yep. That is nuts. I'll tell you what you can see. You can really see that red light really nicely. Well, I can. Hopefully you guys can too. I'll bring it around. Now look, straight away, wind's about five miles an hour. This is now at idle. I have no power on here. It's just ticking over a little bit, actually. And look how steady it is. How's that, Tom? Yeah, great. Lovely. Oh, the color is nice. All right, up we go. We're gonna still turn it off the top there. Now, this is the type of flying I like to do. I like to keep it close, and I like to use the rudder a lot uh, to bring it around. It doesn't really need the rudder in the turn. It helps a little bit. But what I'm really impressed with this model, even uh, despite its size, it is two meter. That's big for a foamy. You can really fly it in a small space. And with that power, it's actually got more power than it needs, but it means you can get out of trouble or, or into trouble, if you like with that extra power. Now I'm cruising at a, like a quarter throttle. Look at that. A little bit of opposite rudder. How's that, Tom? Good, 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 good. All right, so let's, first of all, let's get it up and let's go through some of the basic routines. First of all, I'm gonna show you guys the stall. So Tom, if you're still on it there, yep. I'm gonna bring it round into wind. Super, super stable, this thing. I really, really like it. And this is without the gyro on. So let's get it into wind. I'm gonna point it there and I'm gonna go into mid uh, rates on the elevator. I'm gonna pull full up elevator. I'm zoomed in, wait. Now. I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, full yep. up elevator. Look at that. That's without the gyro. Look at that, nothing. Beautiful. <laughs> it's got those uh, fences on the leading edge of the wing and it's a nice wing section anyway. So it really does not stall. Right, let me bring it around again. I'm gonna go mid flaps this time, mid flaps. 
it does pitch up a little bit you will need to mix a little bit of down elevator look how steady that is nice and slow Tom yep and the lights are great oh look at that really really nice those colors really popping that's mid flat give it a little bit of power it will climb dramatically even with a slight increase in power just be ready for that right, I'll bring it around again Tom and I'm gonna do there's a bit of rudder in the turn there now we come into wind and we're gonna go full flaps again with a little bit of a downward mix full flaps about a quarter throttle look at that and I can maintain just give it a little more power and I'm just gonna swing it around you can really catch it on the elevator on this downwind pass super super smooth how's that looking Tom good good, good. all right let's take it up bring it around flip the throttle a bit okay let's show you guys first of all power again look at this full power now nuts unlimited vertical that's definitely not what you need all right let's do this let's get it into an inverted flat spin of sorts comes out of that just by letting go of the sticks how was that Tom Did you that's get it? good yeah. yeah all right so it's a very well behaved model and now I'm gonna bring it around I am in high rates on the ailerons I'm gonna first of all show you guys a roll this is in high rate this is the maximum amount of throw I can get on the ailerons gonna give it a bit of power ready Tom yep okay okay and rolling now that's uh, quite slow, but you've got to remember it is a beaver, so you're not going to want to be doing too much with it. You could increase that if you were willing to cut away a little bit of the foam from the trading edge of the aileron, just to uh, allow the ailerons to move a little more, but it doesn't really need it because it's a beaver and beavers should be nice and fun and tame and mild and this thing really, really is beautiful. Right Tom, I'm going to do a loop. Okay. So just at half power now, because you don't need full, ease up on the elevator, easing up, easing up, easing up, cutting power at the top, letting it come around naturally. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Really, really nice. Okay, so we're done with rolls and loops, and what I'm going to do now, just very quickly, because we're all getting cold here, is just show you a little bit more of the aerobatics, starting with knife edge. Now, in knife edge, I've got it in uh, mid-rate on the elevator and mid-rate on the ailerons. You don't need a lot of speed to come into this. You just uh, roll over slowly on the aileron and then catch it on the rudder like so, applying a bit of power. Rudder, rudder, rudder. Opposite aileron. Keep on the rudder. Remember the rudder and the elevator, uh, sorry, the rudder and the throttle, your friend, that will keep your nose up. Lovely. Just got to remember to keep the power on, otherwise it will not respond so well in rudder, which is your elevator. But the, look at that. Quiet for a second. It holds really, really well. Those flat, bot uh, those flat sides, uh, generously uh, proportioned, they work really, really well. I love doing knife edge with this beaver. Okay, next thing I am going to do is invert it. So I'm going to roll it over. I've got about mid-rate on the elevator. Um, and I'm going to bring it around for an inverted pass. Only needs a breath of down elevator when it's inverted. It holds quite steady. There we go. Nice. Now, watch this climb out. Full power climb out. Yeah, inverted bunt out of that. Bags of power. Then I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to take it up. I'm in full uh, high rates and I'm going to roll it over and do a flat spin of sorts. I'm going to stall it inverted. Sticks to the corner. And then just let go. Pull up on the elevator gently. <laughs> Around it comes. Very, very nice. So that's all well and good with the beaver, but what it's really good at doing, and what I particularly like doing, is it's putting it in its element of low and slow flying. So we're going to bring it in now, and let's do a, a touch and go, I think, Tom, right? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, okay. So bringing it in, feeding a bit of power, a little bit of rudder in the turn just to keep the wings from dropping. Okay, see if we can get it on one wheel. Come on, baby. One wheel. Ah. Mole hills there. <laughs> Now the uh, a small complaint is that with the undercarriage it is extremely sturdy. It's made from thick aluminium sheet and those wheels do turn very, very nice and smooth. Um, it's just a little bit hard. So you've got to be a bit careful when you're coming and doing your touch and goes and your landings. because Especially a, on bumpy ground. Yeah, right? especially on bumpy ground. It will bounce a little bit if you don't catch it. So you've got to be a little bit smooth. Let's just try that one more time. You've got to manage the power. No, see, I've done it again. There we go, like there we go. All right, and there's the power. Now, to give you a further demonstration, 
I'm gonna go full power downwind and you can see how fast this thing rips. You ready, Tom? Yeah, ready. Okay, ready? Full power. Nuts! That is pretty <laughs> nuts. You fast. never see a beaver flying that fast. Uh, if you were to fly that fast, you'd probably get around six or seven minute flight time. We could do a dog fight <laughs> with my F-22. Now my time is beeping, but I've only got it set to six or seven minutes. Actually, I've flown this before and with the slower type of flying, I got over 20 minutes on this. Uh, Tom, I'm just gonna level off there. I'm just gonna turn this timer off. There we go. And look, look how quickly it slows up. What do you think, Tom? I think it's, uh, it's really, it's really smooth. It's really, really nice. This is one tame big beaver. It's, it's how beavers should always be. Perfect beaver. Love it. Use it as a trainer or yep. as a fun player. Well, that's the thing. Um, let me. That's a good point, Tom. Let's bring it around again. I'm going to hammerhead off the top here. Kick in the rudder. Lovely. Now I'm going to go into full stabilized mode. Oh, the training. Training mode. Um, that's what I'm referring it to. Uh, now, what that does, let me get into. You got it there, Tom? Yep, I got it. So look, I am now holding. I'll get a bit of power. I'm going to go full bank and see how it doesn't, that's full bank on that, and it doesn't uh, let me go any further than say that. Can you see that? Yep. So let me uh, do another demonstration there. So I'm holding I'm full. I'm gonna zoom out. Yep. yep, yep. There you go, full left, and it doesn't let me go any further than that. What's that, about 30 degrees, Tom? Yeah, maximum. Yeah, so that's a great aid for training. Not only that, it's self-levels. Let's bring it around again. I will zoom in on the plane. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna bring it around. So easy to fly this thing. Here we go, into wind. Now, watch this. I am going to bank quickly to the left and I'm gonna let go of the stick and it levels. Bank right, let go of the sticks and it levels. Are you getting that on the model as well? Tom? Yeah, 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 I think so. So that's everything you would want uh, as a training uh, pilot. Not only that, but it's uh, wrapped up in this very, very stable model. So absolutely, I would recommend this as a trainer. It's big, it's got the uh, visibility and the presence in the air, but with uh, this uh, wind section and how it flies and with this stabilized training mode, it's really very nice. Now I'm gonna put the flaps on and I'm gonna land it in training mode, which is a real, real pleasure. And when I do that, I'm gonna talk about that system just a little bit more, coming to land. Look at that, flaring, 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 flaring. Oh! That's sex on a stick right there, that's beautiful. <laughs> um, now talking about that um, training mode, it can be a lot of fun, even for the proficient pilots. Uh, if you've got a lot of wind, what we've got now is a little bit of footage from the other day when we went out to fly this, of it flying in very strong wind. I think it was gusting around 20 kilometers yep. an hour, right? Correct. Um, now with the full flaps on and without gyro stabilized mode, it will do this as well, but it's just that much more fun uh, in the full training mode. You can see from the footage that I'm hovering it in the wind. It's even going flying a little bit backwards. I'm just keeping the right amount of power on and with uh, the flaps fully down and that wing into wind, it's super, super stable and a lot of fun. So here you can see it doing that. And then of course you've always got the power to come out of it. So you've seen that now, that's good. What I'm gonna do now, I think we've probably shown enough of it on 6S, right? Yep. I think we've got a good demonstration of how the power goes. But I wanna talk about the versatility, uh, versatility of this model. And it's not something that even FMS or anybody else has touched on. Yes, it's got a lot of power with uh, 6S, maybe even too much. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna change the prop. I think this is a 15 by nine that comes as stock. Yep. We've got a 16 by nine in there, and we're gonna go to 4S. Um, now 4S, you would struggle to get the CG right. So what I've actually got is two 4S 4,000 packs. Yep. And is it in parallel, Tom? I Wait, think so, yeah, parallel. Yeah. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in parallel, uh, you double up the capacity, but keep the voltage the same. It could be serious, but I think it's parallel. What that means with those two 4S packs together in the nose, I've got the same approximate weight as a 5,000 milliamp power 6S pack. Um, so it works out really, really well. Tom, let's do this now. And flying let's, time will be? Flying time on the 4S. Uh, well, if it's 20 minutes on this with that kind of uh, throttle use, um, I, I don't know guess around 30 minutes we haven't got 30 minutes to stand here and show you that nor do you want to listen to me talking for an extra 30 minutes I know Tom doesn't so we're gonna change that up uh, no modifications needed really and uh, we'll come back in a second with the forest power flight review okay so forest fright very quickly we've gone from a 15 inch prop up to a 16 inch prop uh, when you go down in uh, voltage you want to go up in prop 
So this is an APC uh, 16 by 8 I think it is. The only thing you needed to do to get this to fit was just trim a little bit of the spinner back plate there. Uh, two second job and it works very very well. Uh, I now have a 4000 uh, milliamp hour forest in there but if you run it up in parallel there is two of them in there one on top of the other if you run it up in parallel then you'll get 8,000 million power as we said before 30 minute flight time so hatchet is on ready to go point it into wind I'm gonna do the same again just so you see it's still got more than enough power mid flaps gyro off and off off and away we go, we go. ready Tom yeah I'm ready Easing up on the elevator, look at that. Oh, Still, yeah. look at that climb out. That's again at half, not even half throttle now. It's That's a little, insane. Oh, it's a little bit pitchy there. I think my CG is probably a little bit out. That's a, oh, I know why. It's sorted now, that's fine. But look at this, again, it's basically the same model. Cruising, it's a little bit out of uh, trim. Maybe those packs are a little lighter than they could have been. Again, you want to try and aim for a total weight of 850 grams. I think these come in now at 830, so I'm a little bit towel heavy. So I'm just going to trim it. Look at that, still cruising. That is a, a, a third throttle. You see that, Tom? Yep, perfectly. Lovely. I'm going to put the gyro on just to help with that. A C, rearward CG issue. Now look at the full power climb out. That's full power now. And look, it's not unlimited. But look at that. It's a pussycat. That's really all you need, don't you think, Tom? I think it's more than enough. Now, so Tom, oh, well, Tom's an EDF uh, flyer, so you've got to forgive him. He's, he's used to brute power and speed. <laughs> So it's a little more refined than that for sure, but um, but I do love this. It's it's nice. It's a really it's a big beaver now. And now it's just that much tamer. So let's just bring it around again. Full power pass. That's full power um, on 4S. Now you can see it's obviously slower. Can you see that all right there, Tom? Yeah, perfect. I'll bring it around again. But for my money, actually, this is the perfect kind of power for uh, a beaver, and especially one of this size. That's full power again. Fast enough. It's fast enough. Look at that. It's I'm gonna more scale than uh, Yep. I'm going to roll off there. Success. Okay. Now let me show you aerobatics on forest. It will do them pretty much the same. You just need to apply that much more power. I was doing um, uh, less than half power before. I'm going to go full power into a loop now. Are you ready, Tom? Yep. Ready. Okay. And pulling up, easing up, and now ease off the elevator, ease off the throttle, bring it around. I'm going to go straight into a roll. You ready, Tom? Ready. And rolling. Pretty much looks the same. It's pretty much the same. But what you don't get, and which I actually prefer, that 6S was really howling. Um, it felt too much. It felt like too much. Uh, I understand why they've got the power there. Uh, it gives uh, that much more headroom. And a lot of people like to fly fast. But remember, guys, it's a beaver. This is how beavers should be flown. IMO. And I'm going to do a, this is mid flaps now with the gyro on. Look at that, look at that, look at flare, flare, flare. Oh, a little bit of a bounce. Let's try and get a uh, nice smooth landing without any bounce. Taking off there, mid flaps, less than half throttle. It's flying itself right now. This is gyro stabilized. Tom, I want to do one more uh, landing with a, with a nice flare. Let's see if we can get that. I'm going to give myself a bit more elevator authority on... Um, it's going to be your first nice landing then, uh, uh, Shores. <laughs> that's Watch this, you watch this. Bit of power, bit of power, flaring, 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 flaring. Oh, oh that was a little okay. bit of a bounce. Come say, on, that was pretty good. That was a that good one. That was pretty good. <laughs> so let me bring it back around. Uh, another great thing, especially when you flick into high rate, you can see just how well it handles the really rough terrain. Um, even with the forest power, but especially with those nice big wheels, the bearings that are on there are new features of V2. There we go. And it really is a beautiful model um there's going to be a link below this uh video to where you can Sorry. buy um you can buy it in uh, north america you can buy it in europe check it out on the fms site fms have come a very long way i think they're very much at the top of their game now the industry and you the consumers are benefiting from their input into the hobby massively this is a very well thought out model now. It feels like this V2, this feels like everything the V1 should have been. I do think, and I'm not, not, I'm not certain on this, but it feels like the V1 was somewhat rushed to market. This feels like now the complete picture. It feels like everything that V1 should have been. If you're looking for a, a bigger foam model, and foam doesn't get much bigger than this, you've got to check out the V2 Beaver from FMS, two meter span. It's got lots of nice features. It flies really well and it's versatile as heck. Uh, you will see, hopefully, 
I can uh, persuade them to get some float scent as well. We've got a lot of water here in the Netherlands. Tom, I'm sure you'd enjoy to do that as well, some yep. float flying. I love that. Maybe we'll do it at the sunset with the lights and the glass water. That'll be phenomenal, I think. Yep. I'm a big fan of uh, float flying. I can't wait to try the beaver on water. <laughs> What's better than a wet beaver? So with that, I'm going <laughs> to sign off now and I will see you for the next flight review. It could be an older model. It could be a new model. Fingers crossed for a new one. Let's see. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like if you liked. If you didn't, you can thumb down too. That's, that's absolutely fine. But if you want to see more, check out the other videos on the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See you. Yeah, 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 yeah.